Alright. Time for another review. Aftermath review of the Mass Effect series. So I'll do another popular series. Call of Duty. Now, yeah, um, a lot of people hate Call of Duty for a strange reason. I like them. They're very over the top, yeah, yeah, and they're sometimes really stupid in the gameplay design, but I like it. Why don't you let me get out of here? There you go. Um, it's Black Ops, obviously, and to me, it's the best Call of Duty out there. I mean, I've played all of them. The reason I'm doing it for you now is because I wanted to see how, um, Modern Warfare 3 was. It was a good game, but I enjoyed this one a lot more. Anyway, um, I find this one to be the best one. Recruit. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to show you my favourite level from this game. Like, it was, uh, this one was good because it was a thriller type story. The story is, you're being interrogated with your past or what you know, and it's just one of those ones. And it's really well done. Probably one of the best stories Call of Duty's ever done. No, it is the best story Call of Duty's ever done. It's been Call of Duty 4. It's very fun. Now, what do you expect is the gameplay. It's going to be exactly the same as the other ones, except now you can run and hold P and you can dive. Now, that sounds like a shitty feature to add, but I love the feature. It, it just added so much. Like, you'd be surprised how much it added. It was great. And then more with the fans have got rid of it. Enough of that was shit. Um, but yeah, to me, this is just. I, I like Trout more than Infinity Ward. Well, it was more than Infinity Ward than it was Infinity Ward. But yeah, I like. I just like what Trout did. I need some help here! They always went for detail in a way. And some of them like this. Just, the way they did it, it was over it was it wasn't hunting over the top, but it was fun to watch and do. That and it definitely shows the power of war, you know, very gory, which was I just love it. And it's, a, it's like a, it's one of the true sequels because, as we'll see in a second, it's got Reznor from World at War. Now I love World at War. That's one of my favorite World at War Two games. Fortunately, I got rid of it. I actually, I actually regret. I really do. Um, yeah, I really regret that. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to get it again. But this one's good cool because this one at least has there's a more warfare no more, but there's a. Uh, one or two things to it, which is cool. Yeah, that. They had a few cool slow motion effects like that. Great. Slow effect. They shot Mason, they're out there. Actually. Good graphics, too. Like, for a 60 frames per second game, I mean, it's no rage. It is no rage, but it, it was a very good looking game at the time. And. Sorry, some fucking cunt. Just... Sorry about that. Family, uh. Stuff, as in parents needing to go shopping and thinking what I wanted. I wanted beef jerky. Beef jerky is the best. Anyway, going on. Uh, very very fun game. Um, oh, yeah, I thought that was epic, wasn't it? Good graphics, like for 60 frames per second game. Good graphics. It's not as it's not as big as like Halo or Metroid or you know most of those other FPS games that have fit like in crisis, like fairly open environment. But it, Call of Duty doesn't really need them. I mean, some fights they have are open, like they do have like small sandboxy type areas. Like they're just like small areas where you can shoot from one building or the other. You can, yeah, sniper or have a machine gun. Just, just like they have fun things like that, but not all the time. Just, yeah, they care. For some reason, it's something that can people. Yeah, dog. It's just something about killing people with a pistol. It's fun. I like the story. I do wish they gave you... That's fun. I do wish they got, like... You do get attacked with, like, a few characters. Not all of them. Woods is a good character. I definitely like him. And you get... And Reznor is getting used to him. First of all, he's in... Well, he's getting used to him in the sequel. 
Yeah. Not much power to get into. One thing I love is this death They always remind me of a fight of the 13th, like slash of how you just kill them without them knowing. Some good detail effects. Put roughly, Call of Duty and Black Ops, well, Call of Duty in general is like the uncharted of FPS shooters. It's very linear at times, um, there's some very smart, at times, they're very, they're very smart ideas. Um, and it's very linear, it's very, um, over the top at times, and it's just. No, fuck, that's never happened before. Cool. But yeah, it's very linear, it's, um, they got a lot of set pieces. And it works, you know, just pretty much this is Uncharted, which is a first person shooter. And that war. A great thing this was, was it actually went away from war. You weren't, you weren't fighting in war, like, this, this game, like, you, in a certain levels you are, but, all along you're not fighting in war. Like, Modern Warfare 2 and 3, you're fighting, you weren't doing, like, small missions like this, you were just, well, you were at times, but you were mainly, like, fighting in war battles and all that. And this one, they don't do that. It just changes, and, um... I enjoyed that, it was very good. Anyway, this is a game and would be a very fucking good. Dana! Almost died! Okie dokie, okie dokie. And this is still just... Cut the fucking throat. I never really got why he's... Sometimes, and the cool thing is, you can just... Go up to him. Ah, oh, hey buddy. And... I died though. It's figures like when you're recording something for review or just gameplay, yeah, things that never happened before happen. Uh, you clear the southeast perimeter. It needs the rally point. Roger. Whiskey on the way, over. Glad you're still in the game, Woods. The rally point is just ahead. Don't wish me waiting for us. No one knows. I probably won't cut this, but you know, who's say? <coughs> Who say it's not fun to um, watch this? You know, who say it's not fun to just continue watching some guy get his throat cut? It is fun, and you know it's fun. Um, I do wish I didn't fuck up though, but mm, it happens. Oh, snake! That's cool. Anyway, stab, stab the throat again. Yummy, yummy, gory gore. There's another gore. And let's get the fuck out of here before I die again, which I have no fucking idea how I died. Like what, was I shot? I was like, how the fuck did I die? You can't go unless these guys go, which actually sucks. I think you've done it though, you feel like iron, but it's all gone. Never gets old. What the hell? Jason, listen. Somewhere near this village is a military outpost under the command of General Kravchenko. And uh, the voice of a great Australian actor. Have the CPU. Sam Worthington. He, he does it well. You know he's, he's a fantastic actor. And he's a Australian. Whiskey team. Which is all. the bridge in East River. Yeah, right Mason, on. with me on the west perimeter. Rendezvous point. The village in five minutes. You got it. Some good effects they have. Whiskey game. team, on me. Hey boss. That's Ice T, that rapper nigga. Cause he's all like, I'm a nigga, and you're not, nigga. Yeah. Come on, fucking hurry up, look at this Go fucking dead, go dead, go fucking, go yo, you're fucking so fucking so good, fucking good. Jump, 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 jump. I think I um, drowned before. I don't know. The reason I'm going to show you like all the times I fucked up that time is probably because one, I can't be fucked editing it. Two, I actually said a few good things, I think. And three, yeah, I just can't be fucked editing it. I will one day, but at this moment in time, I'm bored. I really just want to play games and reveal them. And I really can't be fucked just editing it like hours of it and then just be like, fuck. They want some good detail. That's pretty cool that is.
stab. That's how. That's how. That's reminded me of Friday the Thirteenth. Stabbing right in the throat. Um, and he. Can you throw on, boy? I don't think there is an execution for him, which sucks. But they have an execution for just these two, but that one, no, you don't have to make an execution for him. Make sure he's created. Can you get involved in the game when they, they do first person cutscenes like that? That's pretty cool. And at times it's just like, they give you a gun and you're just like, fuck. Explosives are primed and ready. Sierra in position. Whiskey ready. Roger. X-ray inbound. You got that detonator? Right here. Put a little present in the fuel reserve up ahead. All right. Mason. Let's see what this Semtex can do. Go to hell, motherfucker. Woo wait, we got some. What the fuck? My gun's just turned. Sweet. I am not the best for you, player. But, I have fun. Oh my god, you're shooting me. Damn, yeah, motherfucker. Kill the civilians because we can't. Can we? No, you can't kill the civilians. Fair enough, I guess. See, I don't get what's the controversy about killing fake people that aren't real. I mean, sure, killing them is a killing, very bad thing to do, but we're not really killing those people. We're killing people that are fake, not real, have no lives. Have no loved ones. They're just AI shooting back at us. You know? Just grab a beer and kick the fucking asses off. Um, yeah. Look like one more. Get there, wait, soldier. Um, all right. So the campaign is very fun. I'll play it. If you'd like, this game's probably worth it just for the campaign alone, including like. Including um, zombies mode, you know, zombies mode is great alone as well. Zombies mode and campaign alone is what is is worth this game for. Uh, no, no, it's worth it. Um, multiplayer's fun. I have played a few of it. I've, it's got bots too, which is great. Because you know, when you're running like a live or don't want to go online, you play bots. I think it's fun. And they're kind of little trash talking, really. And the game's actually a good buy. Like, it is. It's the best Call of Duty game. It's got probably the most out of it. It's just worth it, really. Shut up, fucking nigga. That was really racist. Sorry. Yeah, this is cool. Just a small bit. That was cool. Let's light parkers on the roof. Someone drop a man in the hole. And like the gameplay is simple and true, but it's just something fun about it. I reckon if they add more reaction shots and just like made the jump for a lot funner, a lot stronger, it'd work well. Now here's something that you can do, it's about. You've got to run a launcher and you shoot the turret, which I'm sure a bit of people have done first time round, but you get a for it, you know, shoot the turret with the launcher. 